All right, all right, all right, we're back. Now let's go ahead and select the statement. We entered through the Laverre South entrance around nine o'clock. All right, that's totally cool. We passed through the Salad. <laughs> Salad de Tuber with a little fanfare. Uh, in the Grande Gallery, I unveiled the new painting and gave a short speech. That's when I was approached by a man claiming to be the Prince of Spain. Hmm. I don't know what to ask about, man. Let's look at our evidence here. Two tickets from the Vienna, bound to Vienna. See, so blah, 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 go there, whatever. A receipt for one box of custom filled chocolate from the six, so we don't need that. Falcon wake awoke upon the ponte with the fountain pen contains green ink. Does uh, anything contain some sort of something about that? Around nine o'clock. I don't know. I don't. I don't have any evidence that suggests anything. Actually, I know I do. Fuck it. South end. Let's just begin one at a time. Your Majesty, you say that you entered the Lavore from the south entrance. Indeed, we approached from the Hotel de Ville, so it was an easy riverside stroll. Did you see anyone suspicious? Did you see anyone suspicious or around the Lavore's entrance? Suspicious? I'm afraid not, Monsieur. Just the regular riverside types. Bourgeois, vendors, people who fish, and the like. I see. Do you have any other questions for me? Are you sure you entered from the south? Are you sure that you entered the Lavore south entrance? Oh, mon dieu, Falcon. Are you seriously suggesting a tugging at this thread? The king himself just testified on the oaths, no less, that he entered through the south entrance. You can't possibly have a reason to call this fact into question. Just want to be thorough. Just want to be thorough. I'm just being thorough. It's important that we explore every nook and cranny. We don't have time for that sort of pedantry. Stick to the important questions, defense, or I'll end this stupid trial here and now. <coughs> Alright then. Uh, we passed through the Salle de Tubre. Okay. Your Majesty, you say that you passed through the Salle de Tubre uneventfully. Indeed. We stopped briefly to look at the paintings and then moved on into the Grand Galerie. What did you see there? Could you elaborate? What did you see at the Salle de Tubre? What did I see? Were Roman stuff mostly. I meant aside from the Roman artifacts. For example, did you talk to someone in the room who wasn't a member of your entourage? You're reaching, JJ. The king already testified that he passed through without encountering anything of interest. You're right, I'm reaching. My gut tells me that something important took place in the Salle de Tubre, but maybe you're right, Severin. It would be foolish to blindly push on, wouldn't it? Uh, what about other rooms? There are several rooms between Lover South Entrance and the Grand Gallery. But you've only mentioned the Salle de Tubre by name. Why is that? Oh, the Salle de Tubre. It was the only room we looked around in detail. The other rooms we simply passed through straight through. Why did you stop in that room specifically? Well, see, there was a giant doorstep. That caught my eye and sparked the debate. Say no more, your majesty. <laughs> I see. And now I don't have anything. I don't have... I don't think I have evidence on this. Receipt. Two ticket stubs. Nothing. I don't really have anything. I don't have... Hang on. Took the thorns of the rose... Lander Haggis like a chocolate wrapper that was found in the Salle de Tubre. The label reads Hmm. Well this was found in the place. But what can I say about it? Nothing really, I can't it's nothing. Nothing really I can say. Alright, Grande Gallery. Now your Majesty. I would like to ask you about your activities in the Grande Gallery. Please proceed! May we hear your inspiring speech? Did you see anyone suspicious? 
Aside from the Prince of Spain, did you see anyone out of the ordinary in the Grand Gallery? Why, Monsieur? The Grand Gallery is always inhibited by artists. Every, everything is there out of ordinary. Nonetheless, can you think of anyone who stood out? Is this question going somewhere? Or are you blindly... Someone messaged me on, uh, on Twitter. i got to get rid of that. Or are you blindly stabbing in the dark? I guess I'm stabbing in the dark. Then perhaps be a little less stabby and a little more brainy. Alright. I don't know. I was approached by a man claiming to be the Prince of Spain. We could reveal the guy's identity right here and right now, but I don't know if that'll I don't know if that'll be the best idea, honestly. Because that'll just prove <laughs> Oh, man, but that'll just prove that he's a liar now. Whatever. Your Majesty, you say that you were presented with a rose by the Prince of Spain. Indeed. He formally introduced himself. You know, he was telling the truth because he called me Senor. Why did Major Hal take the rose? I find it curious that Major Hal snatched the rose before you could take it. Why did he do that? The Major Hal has always been a protective fellow. I think he was just doing his diligence as a royal guard. As given how he look, how he took the figure to bullet for me, I would say that he did his job well. Well, I can't argue that. All right. Well, I guess it's time to reveal that that was not the Prince of Spain. Your Majesty, Prosecutor, members of the jury. I feel like this is a bad idea, but whatever. Raise yourselves, because I have a revelation that will turn this trial on its head. Juan Querido is not the Prince of Spain. That's not a revelation, Falcon, is not Of course not. We all know that the current leader is Queen Regent Isabel II, that she has no children. The Queridos are obviously pretenders to the throne. Prince Juan's title is self probably self appointed. But his name isn't even Juan. But his name isn't even Juan Querido. I don't even think the fox is Spanish. So what? So, so what? That's important. JJ, what's important is that this man is accused of committing murder and the conspiring to kill the king. That is what's in dispute here. The name is irrelevant. He could be named Juan Querido. Oh, somebody else messaged me on Twitter <laughs> and it's blocking my view. Or Bob, Struny for all I care. It doesn't change the events that transpired on the morning of January 6th. I, I suppose that's true. You have another question about Prince Juan. Fuck! I really don't even have anything. I don't have anything at all. Dude, I, I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything, dude. Hmm, no idea. Alright, <sighs> Salé de Dupré, with little fanfare. Fuck, dude, I don't know! <laughs> I'm so, I'm so lost, dude. Passes, uh, little fanfare, uh, south entrance. Nine o'clock. I don't know. <laughs> Just let us... Chocolate wrapper that was found in the salad de Debre. Lavo reads, Lander, Haggle Slacks, Chocolate Emporium. Let's ask about that again. Wait, wait, yeah, wait a minute, yes, I, I know something. What did you see in the cellar de Tabar? Could you elaborate? What did you see in the cellar? Uh, what room is of? Or the room of. Did you talk to someone in the room who wasn't a member of your entourage? You're right, I'm just reaching. Hang on, this isn't the one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know exactly. Oh, shit. Wait, no, wait a minute. No, it doesn't really make sense. 
Okay, fuck. We're asking. We're asking. Go for it. I would like to ask you about your activities in the Grand Gallery. Please proceed. Did you see anyone suspicious? Why, Monsieur, the gallery is always inhibited by... Uh, nonetheless, can you think of anyone who stood out? Is going to somewhere, or are you blindly stabbing? It's a valid question. It's a perfectly fine question. Please, answer your majesty. Who did you see? Well, I don't know. I saw a dozen of paintbrush wielding mustachio touting weirdos. Be specific, your majesty. I... I saw photographers and sculptors, sketchers and hipsters and... And... Just what do you want me to say, Monsieur? Look what you've done, JJ. You've stressed the poor king out. Badgering the king. Tut tut. Absolutely disgusting behavior. That's stalling. What a buffoon. He lost a little favor with the jury. Shit. I do, but I'm trying to... May we hear your inspiring speech? Could you give us a rendition of your speech? What? Right now? Without my cue card? I'll give it a shot, I suppose. Oh, madames and messieurs, welcome to the grand unveiling of this beautiful portrait. I don't claim to be the greatest king, penguin, or reigned over the France. Not the handsomest, not the most competent. Some may argue that I'm not even a top ten material. But I am a humble king, penguin. Some consider me the most humblest king, penguin of all time. Your honor, I object. The speech is, tra is travesty or something. Sustain. Uh, do you have any other questions about the king? Shit, I don't know. There's something that happened here. I know there's something that happened here. Indeed, we stopped briefly to look at the paintings and Fuck! I don't I, I don't know. Don't know. What did you see in the salad? What about the other rooms? Okay, hang on. Okay, because I'm trying to get him to, to talk about the wolf, because we all know the wolf did it, but... Well, Roman stuff, mostly. I want the king to elaborate. How about that? I have reason to believe that this was key moment on the day that the murder. I want the king to elaborate on exactly on what and who he saw. Then I suppose that you will have to proceed, your majesty. All right, let me think. So there was a giant doorstep, and there was a copper urn thing. Oh, there was something else, not that you ask. I was offered the box of chocolates by some pe peasant mademoiselle. I don't have much of a sweet tooth, but Major Howe was keen to accept a chocolate or two on my behalf. What? Hmm? Did I say something startling, prosecutor? N no, please continue, your majesty. I think the prosecution is startled because he just came to realization that I was not spouting drivel in the previous trial session. Well, that's debatable. To cut a long story short, your majesty, this mademoiselle may hold some relevance to the case at hand. Could you describe her? Really? She's relevant? Well, let me think. I didn't get the good look of her face, but she was a sorry looking swan, probably in her late teens or early twenties. A young sorry looking swan, you say? I don't suppose her name was... Mademoiselle Sain Sin. Mademoiselle Sin? Sin. That sounds familiar. Why, yes, I think that was it. She was called Mademoiselle Maxine. I see. This is undoubtedly significant. Mademoiselle Sine gave chocolates to Major Howe ten minutes, I mean minutes before he died. Now just one minute. I see what you're alluding to, JJ. You're suggesting that the gifted chocolates give to, uh, killed the Major. But that line of reasoning holds no weight because the evidence is cr circumstantial. Circumstantial, my tail feathers. The king just testified that Major Hal ate chocolates. Yes, that is not this much is no longer in dispute. We still have not proved that the chocolates were poisoned. Without that, we must assume that the swan was merely offering a gift rather than speculating that she was a murderer. Yes, yes. Shame on you, defense. Implicating a poor innocent girl like that. Absolutely disgusting. Why, I ought to end this trial. Hold on. I do have evidence that the chocolate was, in fact, poisoned. I don't believe you, JJ. If you had a piece of evidence that's significant, you would have slammed it down already. Present it. Well, I can't. It's not really the evidence folder type of evidence. Why am I not surprised? Eh? Eh? Are? Ooh, the drama was getting good. Did you all of a sudden go quiet? 
Well, your majesty, it appears that the defense just had a realization of his own, that, he's, that he lacks the evidence to support his theory. Since he cannot continue with this argument, I believe the cross-examination has come to an end. I do have evidence. But he's in the hospital. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Let me present my evidence. See, I had the chocolate wrapper and Sparrow ate it. Stop, JJ. Stop while you still have a little dignity. The results of whatever crackpot pseudoscientific experiment you performed does not constitute valid evidence. I think this trial is over, Your Honor. About bloody time. You may take your leave, Your Majesty. Very well. Ooh, what's his, what's his accent again? Very well. I am pleased that the justice have been thoroughly served. Until next assassination attempt, I do this. I will deliberate the jury. Objection! Sorry, I always want to do that. Sperson, are you okay? Yep, the doctor said that I have an iron stomach. Most of the poison passed through straight into me. Speaking of which, I would like to testify on that poison chocolate tissue. I even got the doctor's note, see? It's too late, the trial's over. You can't be serious, Your Honor. The contents of that note could turn this entire trial into its head. You must allow it. Why are you constantly arguing with me? I thought the job of a public prosecutor was to assist the judges. I told you, Your Honor. My job isn't to get a guilty verdict. It is to ensure that justice is served. At least he isn't a total prick, you know. He could have just ended the trial here. Ah, uh, oh well. I swear, you are the worst prosecutor in all of France. Go ahead, Sparrowson. Read the contents on the notes for the court to hear. Ahem. <laughs> this patient, Sparrowson, was submitted in the sample. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna try to, <laughs> to pronounce that shit. Let's just say he went to the hospital. We displayed a variety of symptoms. These include the profuse sweating, a rapid fever, and severe nausea. The patient was diagnosed with poisoning, probably originating from the plant known as aconite, aka monk shud, aka wolfsbane. When we questioned the patient, he admitted to have consumed a discarded chocolate wrapper potentially carrying the poison. Examining the contents on the patient's stomach confirmed that this is to be true. As a mental health professional, I believe this patient to be clinically... Oh, uh, we can skip that bit. Uh, yada, 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 okay, here we go. Sign Dr. Falfrit. Thank you, Sparrison. I don't think I'll ever need... You. I don't think I'll even need to question you. Between your note and the king's testimony, every angle of the chocolate wrapper business has been covered. Awesome. W wait, did you say the king is here? You can get his autograph later. Right. So, what happens now? Did I get a cross-examination by the prosecution or something? To be honest, I see little to cross-examine. Do your damn draw, prosecutor. Cross-examine that little annoying liar of a bird. Tear his testimony to shreds. Your honor... He has a note signed by a medical professional definitively proving that the chocolate wrapper from the crime scene was poisoned. We could picnic the details or dwell in the, in the doctor's credentials, but I fear it would be a waste of the court's time. Nobody wants that. Gah, so then what the hell do we do now? We do nothing, Your Honor. This poison wrapper has introduced an element of doubt into the case. The prosecution must accept that. But it is a level of doubt reasonable? Is it significant? I think the members of the jury will agree. JJ's evidence is still tenuous. Tenuous? A step above circumstantial. You have a proven a link. A not wholly illogical link. But you haven't proven beyond a doubt that Major Howe was killed by a chocolate. I think I just changed accents and voice at the same time right there. Cool. You are still making far too many assumptions. Where is the empiricism that is required by any good law, court of law? Where are the witnesses who can back up your claims? Uh, oh, I brought along a witness. Maybe she can help. Oh. Oh. Uh, hello. You. Sparrison. It's great to see you on your feet, and you have to been put on an enormous asset of, the, uh, asset of this case, but what are you trying to pull off now? Surprise witness. Surprise witness? Yeah, I remember you mentioned that Kokorito liked calling surprise witnesses, so I thought we would beat him at his own game. I brought the flower girl, Mademoiselle Seen, so that she can testify about Prince Juan's character. You're putting me in a difficult position, Sparrowson. 
Just moments before you arrived, we, the court, established that Mademoiselle Seen is a possible suspect for this case. What? That can't be right. Sparison, it's okay. Monsieur Falcon, I would like to testify. You want to testify? Do you understand what you are agreeing to? I do. I have accepted my fate. <sighs> Prosecutor, do you have any objections to me calling upon Mademoiselle Seen as a witness? No, none. Bearing in mind, of course, that you are here to defend Prince Juan, not to convict Mademoiselle Seen. Prosecuting is my job, of course. I have no objections either. Please proceed, witness. Speak the oath. The oath? Say that you swear to speak without hatred and without fear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I swear, Your Honor. I swear to speak without hatred and without fear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Good. Very good. Please state your name and occupation for the court record. My name is Catherine Mary Seen. I am a flower seller. Mademoiselle Seen, tell the courtrooms of your activities on the morning of the 7th of January. Very well. I saw the king and his entourage enter the Louvre around 9 o'clock. I followed... When they came to a stop in the Salle de Tuber, I stepped forward and offered the king a chocolate. He refused, but a guard, a big dog by the name of Major Howell, was happy to oblige. The guard died because I, personally, had previously added poison to the chocolate. No, that can be right. I used poison derived from a monk shoot, a notoriously dangerous plant, as a flower seller. It was simple to acquire. Why did you do it, mademoiselle? Why? Monsieur, people have tried to kill the king before, and people will try again. He is a vile man who has no respect or love for the people who suffer under him. I did, I did it to better the French people. I don't believe that at all. Faucon, say something. Mademoiselle, are you being coerced or threatened? Speak freely. No, monsieur. I'm confessing out of my own volition. It is my guilt, and nobody else's. Ah, I'm very intriguing. Oh. Getting a little favor. Just a little? Are you just a little? Dude, she just admitted that she murdered the dude. How is this just a little? Well, whatever. 